Gentlemen and female gentlemen, insane Mr. B situation is insane. So for those of you that are unaware, there's been a little bit of a civil war among the commentary channels talking about the Mr. Beast stuff. So since I've had insults flung my way over a while, uh, it's time to address the allegations. So this dude, WestJet over here, from the homeless to the renter to the landlord to the king over here, uh, he dropped the video huge WestJet drama where he's basically talking about the discourse around the Mr. B situation. So I have had a lot of insults uh, and exposed videos flung my way over my coverage of the Mr. B stuff. And I am here to do something incredibly based. Stand on my guns and defend myself because you people are fucking Fucking cringe. That's right, baby. It's time for the civil war. It's the Mr. Beast haters versus the Mr. Beast defenders, where only I could win because I profit off all of you. Let's freaking go. All right, what's all this about? 590,000 subscribers. Wow. Immediately a mistake. He has 591,000 subscribers. Uh, I stand on business, and you do not call out WestJet like that. An average of 300,000 views per video. That is the size of a small news studio. Imagine Let's fucking go. New studio time. Woo! That's a compliment. Let's go. I will feed you slop. Shovel slop down your throat. So this guy, Soggy Cereal, made a video uh, calling out slop YouTubers. And that's me, ladies and gentlemen. I am your resident slop YouTuber right now. On Nuxinor, I slop around. I slop so slops can slop. That's what Armstrong said when he walked on the moon for the first time. And uh, I've been called out by so many of these slop people in the past. The irony is every time someone makes a video calling out slop people, they end up recognizing glaring flaws in their anti-slop propaganda and end up deleting their videos. Uh, this guy, I was going to react to his video, but he deleted it. So uh, the great news here is we are two slop videos through, and I didn't even have to react to any of them. They just... They just suicide. It's pretty good. So anyway, I'll keep slopping. Imagine your local news channel completely slandering a person because they were too lazy to fully read a public document. Yeah, Are you fucking insane? That's exactly what the news studios do. Have you seen Fox News talk about Kamala Harris? Have you seen CNN talk about Trump? If you would only listen to CNN's coverage of Trump, you would think that Trump, Trump was a puppy-stomping Nazi, okay? And if you would only listen to Fox News, to how they talk about Kamala Harris, you would think that she was a dribbling oaf, okay? You would not understand- Dude, that is the news! Welcome to real life! Oh, dude, I fucking love the, uh, the anti-Mr. Beast hate hater channels. Those guys are great. That'd be hilarious, dude. What are you on about? When oh. Tuesday excuse that it's not their job to check the facts. They just make up accusations and opinions. That's not true. They propagate accusations. It's not the same thing. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what he's talking about. Basically, I made a video a long time ago that I deleted because I missed Oh yeah, I was on vacation while that went down. I didn't get a chance to cover it. Anyway. Understood something, and he's trying to frame it as if I was manipulating or doing something evil here who the most degradation in quality for the past few years has right. in my opinion been in the drama commentary genre or i agree you know why because now i'm in the drama commentary genre where people polish their tomatoes to throw them at me yes yes ever since i stepped into the drama commentary genre the entire genre's average quality has taken a dip uh, i personally am proud of this achievement for how more and more people are calling it the slop center of you yes yes <laughs> Bro, just ate WestJet. Bro, you can't just eat my YouTube no. channel like that. You can't be getting away with this. That's crazy. Literally misreporting information that was all written down in a public document. WestJet, did you read the document? Did you just skim it? Oh my god, is that Turkish Thomas? This is your job. This is what you get paid to do. Like, did you not read it? Why? Because he was too lazy. 90 pages? Bro, ain't nobody got time for that. And then made extremely defamatory statements. Shut the f up you nerd bro what are you talking about you never even seen a west jet video because you know that on the west jet channel it's yeah. all 100 percent factual very <laughs> they put us on here. i love it so much yes on the ground journalism baby researched in depth we might yeah. make mistakes here and there but that's not on purpose he doesn't hold himself up to a journalistic standard look what you did turkey tom you hung out with destiny once so now you're trying to make commentary boring and gay yeah. it's slop commentary why do people gatekeep and care so much worry about yeah, see, I have a really hot take, and it's that uh, people enjoy watching my videos, and therefore, I make more videos. It's actually that simple. But Nux, what about the the, the freaking integrity guys? Enjoy, they enjoy my videos, and therefore, I make more of them. You want to do me a favor and shut the shit up? Bro, you want me to show you some analytics? It's They're going to make you cry. The analytics might make you sad. I'm just I'm warning you in advance. When I show you analytics, you might cry. My analytics are really good. Like, people watch over, like, like around 50% of my videos, like, which is actually good. 
as far as the analytics department goes. So I'd say I'm making content that people are enjoying. So you could kindly go away. Like here, here's here's a crazy one for you. Look at this. Look at this boy. All right. So as you can see right here, this is just I took a video completely at random. 48.9% of the video was viewed by every single person that clicked on the video. For those of you that are unaware, that is a very high average. I work with a lot of YouTube channels. Most are in the 30 to 40% range. Uh, in the 40 to 50% range is good shit. Mr. Beast strives for above 50%. That's what he wants with all of his fucking crazy shit. So I'm just saying, I make videos that people like. So go away. Be morally consistent. It's so stupid. One of the only goats left is Diesel Patches. His whole titles are essentially slander, and it's Let's funny. Go. It's literally not that serious, kid. Baba Booey. All right. What is up, Radiance and Canadians? West oh, that's me. Five Venezuelan trillionaire here, and today we're talking about slop content. Literally, this is gonna be fun because uh, this get this turns into Mr. Beast shit right away. And as someone that has made a lot of videos on Mr. Beast, more than Pegasus and WestJet combined, probably. But uh, people for some reason don't really seem to care that much because I am fucking I own that shit and I I love it so much. Uh, please continue to insult me with that. Uh, we will we will keep doing it. Subscribe, so be sure to subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, this guy created this video called "The Dangers of Slop Content." So I actually like Soggy Cereal. I've seen some of his uh of some of his old videos, and I do like that. And uh, you know, he I like his videos. Got me shaking in my boots. So what could it be? No, another person calling me out for slop. It can't be. I feel like for the past few months, channels and videos like this being released has increased exponentially over every niche. And I'm yeah, pretty awesome. Clearly not the only one, since while working on this video, other creators have started speaking up about this- ah! Dead center! There he is, the Nuxanor, peeking his head from among the beast. Uh, the irony is, um, this video is deleted now. That's the irony, is that this video is currently deleted. Oh, so you're- uh, And the other irony is that Soggy Serial's video is also deleted. Video talking about slop is essentially slop. But also, at the same time, he's not wrong. Like, you know, slop channels do exist. And as True. a contra I'm not True. exactly reinventing- See, the thing is, when I think when I think of slop channels, let me give you an example of slop channel, okay? Because I think this is important to note. Uh, I recently found one. It's pretty great. I found it. Uncovered Discovery. This is the channel. This channel is all fake. This entire channel is fake. This guy uploads five, six, six videos a day. Each one is 40 minutes long, and they, it is all lies. Three minutes ago, just did Jim Carrey just snitching on Will Smith? No, he didn't. Diddy and Oprah didn't know they were live, and here's, like, them having sex in the thumbnail. Yeah, this didn't happen. Three minutes ago, FBI confirms LeBron, LeBron James fled the country after Diddy. Yeah, no, no, he didn't. Uh, did FBI leaked shocking Diddy audio in court. No, th this didn't actually happen. They, they even used the same thumbnail for this guy twice. Uh, breaking celebrities on Diddy's list reacting to life sentences. No, this doesn't show any celebrities reacting to anything. This is an AI-generated thumbnail. This is slop! This is slop, guys! Commentary channels cracking jokes and making fun of assholes? Bro, that's the meta! I think the Mona Lisa here. The slop center of YouTube. With vague titles, click- Yes! Yes! Fade yet forgettable thumbnail. What the fuck forgettable thumbnails? Who gives a shit about forgettable thumbnails? Bro, you want- Dude, dude you want to see art? Art is making the same thumbnail on every single one of your videos. Oh, yes. Art is... This is art. This is true art. The same fucking Nux pose at the side of every thumb... No, I disagree. This is fucking awesome. And then the random black thumbnail white text on it. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, WestJet has the least forgettable thumbnails of all time. Dude, fucking WestJet thumbnails need to be put up in a museum. Look, look, at, look at this guy. Look at this guy's thumbnails. Like, I don't fucking know how he did it, but this guy needs to get a fucking museum. Look at this shit. Oh, my God. These thumbnails are incredible. Dude, how, how did he do this? Also, who cares if the thumbnails are forgettable? If thumbnails are not forgettable, this could be hung up in Paris in the- They're true! That's what I'm saying! Oof. Videos that are 90% yeah. longer than they should have been just gone to- See that? He's completely correct. But you know what? I don't actually give a flying fuck because people watch my videos. So I therefore proceed to not care at all! God, I love not caring about things that don't matter. And shamelessly being milk dry. I'm sorry, but how do you make three 20 minute videos for a total of one hour about like a single cool 10 DDM tweet and like five dumbass KSI and Logan Paul tweets 
KSI made like six videos on it, okay? I show Speed got involved, every other celebrity on the planet made fun of his song. There was a lot of content there. I would know because I slopped all over it. In backlash to the release of a processed food product. Which, by the way, apparently is moldy now. We'll, we'll get into that. Hey, as a fellow KSI milker, I'm going to defend my boy Pegasus here. Yes. There was quite a bit of content. There wasn't yes. just one. KSI yes. was skit sewing out for a, like a whole month straight. Boogie situation is sad. Oh. Oh. Mr. Beast situation is insane. I agree. Just like my mental state after refreshing my YouTube feed for a thousand times, expecting change, yet getting the exact same result. Hot take, that's your problem, okay? That means the algorithm is feeding it to you because you're watching it. When you eat the slop, the algorithm will continue to feed you slop. This is a you issue, brother. I don't know if YouTube's like TikTok. It's like, God, I hate every time I go to, I go to fucking whorehouses, I always get sexually transmitted diseases all 27 times. It's like, bro, that is your problem for going to 27 whorehouses, okay? But I'm pretty sure it's an algorithm. It's a for you page. Yeah. You curate your own algorithm. It reminds me of that 70-year-old creepy Twitch CEO. Oh, fuck you, Dan Clancy. Uh, to everyone that's watching this, go check out DanClancySucks.com. I just did a deep dive on that. Bro, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, wait, he's just scrolling through images and it's all, like, Twitch titty stream. Create your own algorithm. It reminds me of that 70-year-old... Oh, no. Oh, no. Creepy Twitch CEO. Jesus. No! Christ. No! 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 That's awesome. That that's I love that. That's beautiful. I, that's really nice. Recommend it is perfectly normal. I don't know about y'all. There are similar, oh, well-researched and optionally edited slop channels like Oompaville, some ordinary gamers. Why would you call Oompaville and some ordinary gamers slop channels? Like Oompaville and some ordinary gamers do insane amounts of research. Some ordinary gamers literally spent. Uh, hundreds of hours investigating crypto scams before making his videos on them. And Oompaville has a whole fucking team to give you, like, the breakdown of different conspiracies and shit. Like, these are not slop channels. Or Moist Critical. Who also occasionally... Okay, dude, Moist Critical is a slop channel, but I respect it because it's fun. But also, dude, you just said the three biggest guys on the fucking platform? Like, guy, come on, man, that's not fair. Load non-slop content, and that's why I don't really mind them. Name like the top three subscribed yeah, guys because he's scared they're fat. God, I love WestJet. This man's so good. They will attack him like, what? What do you mean? Watch most of these creators, but with every video that is well researched. All right, here we go, baby. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here comes the Mr. Beast Civil War. There are hundreds that are somehow double their life, containing nothing but misinformation or willfully ignorant statement. I love how he says that. All right, and he's going to show us proof now. He does the exact same thing to me. Even the comments are calling him out defending he literally took clips out of context to paint westjet as the bad guy damn damn yeah i didn't get into that whole uh fruit cheating situation thing like bruh i'm the bad guy oh look more pegasus uploaded another three hour and 30 minutes wait that's a three hour and 30 minute video done by more pegasus oh my god so i don't mean to i don't mean to do this but i just got that video in my recommended the other day and I have bad news. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Because this is actually crazy. The video is currently sitting at three hours and 29 minutes and 42 seconds, which means 30 seconds were cut out of the video. I must know what it is. It's video on Mr. Beast, which is for 90% the compilation of his previous 12 videos. So it's just one big movie of re-uploaded, misinformative, stretched out slaw. I disagree. I think it's incredibly based in order to make a crazy amount of money by making like 12 separate videos and then to also make the, the long version. Like that's just, that's just cool. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. Yeah! <laughs> they don't respect the viewer's free time whatsoever. Why are we now- Respect the viewer's free time. Brother, if you don't like the video, don't watch the video. If you do not want to watch my channel, don't watch my channel. What the respect the viewer's free time? I am respecting that my viewers have a lot of free time. So I make the ideal content to literally put on the side while you're doing something, some menial task. Washing the dishes right now? Are you taking a shit right now? Yeah, I know where you are. I know what you're doing. And you have me on the side, keeping you company on the toilet. Way to go, girl. You, you take that shit. You, you let that fucking turd exit the butthole. You do that. You do that. Maybe even repackage it. Use it as lunchly ingredients. Averaging a 20 minute video length on content that could have been less than two minutes long without losing any of the informative or entertainment value. See, I disagree because I think that I am funny. And I think some people think that I am funny as well. I think a lot of people think I am not funny and those guys do not watch my videos, which is totally fine. 
but I think I'm funny. And some people might think it's funny also when I, you know, get into drama by making fun of bozos. Again, this is not a hate video towards Soggy Cereal, okay? I actually like his videos. I just think that uh, there is a jealousy involved with a lot of people that have, like, this artistic standard to content that, um, that they take, like, this artistic standard and they're like, these videos do not hold up to my artistic standard and therefore I hate that they get views. I do think that there is that jealousy aspect there. Um, personally, that's the, the in-depth Nux analysis, but anyway, I, I will continue making fun of people. If they will put the clown makeup on themselves, I will continue to throw tomatoes. Ain't that serious? You're acting as if all of a sudden every commentator channel turned into the Keebstar and started reporting the news. No, <laughs> it's just people reacting to stuff and giving their opinion over video game footage. Real. Some footage better than others. I don't know. There's just something enjoyable about right. watching a dude fly through oh, the let's air go. in a grocery store. Look at him go. I can't really explain it. God, I fucking love slop content. It's my favorite thing. It's somewhat acceptable overall so mid-tier. Be it, I caught a stray, but this dude straight up released a 17-minute long hit piece on Pegasus while they were actually friends, and he didn't even tell- They were friends. I know that for a fact, by the way. Tell the guy. Oh, shit. I didn't think we were actually going to get into the to the actual backstabbing part. I thought we were just going to talk about the Civil War part. There is, like, a large subsection of uh, YouTube commentators that hate that people are making money off the Mr. Beast shit and making slop content about it. I think it stems a lot from je jealousy. I do think there are a lot of legitimate complaints. Like, I know that Dogpack's third video, the one uh, talking about the secret CEO that's, uh, that he alleged was, like, a domestic abuser and stuff, was wrong. Like, that was that was just flat-out misinformation, and that is obviously wrong, and I, I have talked about how that's not okay, and he should have definitely done his due diligence better. But to say that all this content is slop because that guy made a bad video is not fair. Calling it slop because it is slop is fair. Which it is. I, I think that's worse than slop, in my opinion. Take the line, Pegasus. Hello. Yeah, I, w I was actually gonna not talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Hello, WestJet viewers. It's me, more Pegasus. Oh, Sometimes there he is. go by Megasus. All right. Oh, shit. Ranked number one globally on Diesel Patch's commentary slop tier list. Let's right? go. I'm here to comment on the drama. Just kidding. I don't actually need to do anything because his entire comment section is already just absolutely roasting. Oh, ain't this bit slop? Yeah. Fight back against the slop content with more slop. Look at me, guys. I am the slop king upon the slop heap. Look at me reacting to slop revenge of the slop. Oh, I love my job so much. Oh, yes. Uh, huge hypocrisy in that video. Lots of manipulation and lies that I don't even need to point out. People are already doing it for me. People were saying he comes off very jealous and... Damn, that, that, that was the Nux analysis. It, I think a lot of this stems from a jealousy. I don't know why people get so mad at the fact that my videos do well. Like, how is it my True! It's a jealousy shit. fault that people like my videos, and they keep saying, like, oh, you put no effort into your videos. Like, you don't know shit, all right? I put a shit Damn. ton of effort into my Damn. videos. Damn! Also, some lore here. I was actually really upset when it dropped, because uh, I considered him a good friend. Damn. Damn. I can't believe they're, they're actually going here. So, okay, I'm going to hear what more Pegasus says first, and I'm going to I'm gonna tell you my insight. You know, we were on good terms, and out of nowhere... Uh, not a single message. Just this cringe backstabby video here when I was literally helping him any way I can to make it on YouTube, right? Again. True story. True story. More Pegasus is correct. I gave him YouTube advice, sponsor advice. I connected him with bigger creators. I you know who bigger creators are, guys? Do you know who he's talking about here? I do. I know who he's talking about. You know how I know who he's talking about? Talking about me, baby! That's right! Back in the day, a couple months ago, Soggy Cereal wanted a collab with Mudahar specifically, and more Pegasus made the connection between me and Soggy Cereal, where Soggy Cereal wanted me to ask some Muda something. And I actually made that connect. All right, it didn't end up happening. I don't know if Muda ended up uh, collabing with him. I know he was busy at the time, but I made that connect, baby. That's right. That's me, Slopinor himself. Yeah, so this is just factually true. When I saw this video come out, not the WestJet one, but the Soggy Serial one, uh, where he basically call spent the whole video calling out Pegasus, I thought that was insane. I thought that was wild, because I know Pegasus reached out to me personally to try to make that connect for Soggy Serial. So yeah, anyway, uh, just verifying what, what my boy Pegasus here is saying, because that's just, like, empirically true. I even offered to cover his expenses when YouTube was screwing him over Damn. through AdSense, like... So, I don't know who the hell to trust anymore, man. It, it's just absolutely- It's rough out here. I know. That's why I, I am an incredibly loyal piece of shit. I am loyal to a fault, 
But I've also been backstabbed more times than uh, than I can count. Really crazy. I still consider him a friend and I don't want to screw him over because he told me, you know, he wants to make it as a full-time YouTuber. Basically, all I want to say, oh, I'm damn. just going to go listen to my favorite song from the ring to the pen to the king. Hey, no, oh my God. No, no, he's going to copyright it. Stop that. The black guy's going to steal my money with <laughs> oh my copyright. God, stop. Legal reasons, that's a joke. Oh, oh my Mr. God. Beast and Dogback 404 drama where every slop channel jumped on. That's me. Like flies on a turd. That's me. Mr. Beast is the turd, so good analogy. A dog bag turd. That might be the worst joke I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Language barrier, your joke sucks. While talking about people stretching their videos and going off topic, he immediately goes off topic and decides to ramble on about dog pack 404. The Mr. Beast obsessed disgruntled employee fired for oh creepy and unprofessional behavior towards female and male co-workers while trying to scam the Mr. Beast company he Wait, so this was all like a secret Mr. Beast video? Like, this actually is slop. He's complaining that people are milking the Mr. Beast video shit, and he's actually milking the Mr. Beast video shit with his video. Bro, bro, this is just the slop calling the kettle slop. Know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Work that, and now yeah, There's so much jealousy in this fucking space. Uh, a lot of people just hate the fact that uh, there are people of superior intellect that recognize the fact that slop content is, in fact, the best content ever. That's right. That's right, it is. And in fact, let me go to my YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure I just slopped uh, recently. Oh yeah, check this out, baby. Check, this out, check it out, check it out. New slop, new slop just dropped, guys. Dan TDM just ended KSI's whole career. New slop, 40 minutes, way too long, way longer than it should be, probably. Uh, all the all the slop allegations are true. We just slopped. Live to slop another day, ladies and gentlemen. You continue to complain, and I will keep slopping by. Them constantly contradicting himself online and hastily tries to cover his tracks whenever caught. Unironically, though, that video was funny as fuck. Whoa, whoa. That, that new slop that dropped, that was very good. What's this? Another feature in a video? We got Dogpack himself fighting back? Oh shit, he got Dogpack for. <laughs> Dude, this is this is actually some high research slop. All right, WestJet, I'll address some of the points in the. um. I just rewatched the side serial video. I'll address some of the points, and if you need anything else from me, let me know. Yes, there. sir, drill sergeant. The alleges that I made multiple weird slash inappropriate slash. We should do an a thousand boobs transplant video, dude. That'd be fire. I support that. Disrespectful jokes towards colleagues, such as we should do a one thousand boobs transplant video. Stuff that creeped out coworkers. Really? Really? That that's 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 soggy cereal's complaint against this guy. He's trying to discredit Dogpack because Dogpack made a suggestion of a thousand boobs implants. Probably throw in some charity, breast cancer survivor charity. Really, bro? That's the fucking complaint. That's the allegation. Hey, can you suck a fat longer, sir? With all due respect, get out of here with this shit. Oh my god, listen, I love chaos, and th this is fucking beautiful chaos. People are trying so hard to to stand up for Mr. Beast for some reason. Like, it's actually fucking insane. So they're leaving out the context that this video was for Breast Cancer Awareness yeah. Month, October. And yeah, the point is to like sort of stir up a little bit of controversy, do a little clickbait. But then the actual video is very respectful, you know, you're like, paying for mammograms or mastectomies or cosmetic surgeries for breast cancer survivors. Now, do I think Jimmy would do it in a mature, respectful way, or do I think he would go, I just bought 10,000 titties and I'm gonna, I'm gonna load them all. <laughs> yeah! Sorry, sorry. I'm uh, just, I just became a Mr. Beast fan for a half a second there. If you weren't sued before Dog Pack, you're definitely getting sued now, bro. What the heck? Uh, I'm not trying to paint the company as unprofessional, right? I'm not Bob Ross over here. What is this? Oh, Ava Tyson. Dude, Why, no. yes, I'm asexual. Asexual predator. <laughs> no! Shit that Ava and Jimmy and, and all these other employees put in the work chats is far more inappropriate than anything I ever said. Yeah, it's kind of wild to defend Mr. Beast uh, by going after Dogpack404 because Dogpack404 came up with the idea of buying a thousand boobs or something for a Mr. Beast video. And indirectly defending Mr. Beast and Chris Tyson, who, by the way, Ava, Chris Tyson, have you seen those messages between... You know, Ava and actual children? Like, brother! You're coming after him for being inappropriate when you're defending Mr. Beast, whose, whose entire friend squad is the fucking uh, the, the pedophile ring of Ninja Turtles? And by the way, I have access to thousands of work chats that have not been leaked yet, and I'm gonna start leaking them. And one of them contains oh, alleged oh. CP. Oh! All right, all right. You leak that, and I'll cover it. I'll d don't worry. I'll slop around. Yo, is Mr. Beast bringing back Club Penguin? Let's yeah! go! While trying to scam the Mr. Beast company he worked at, I did have access to an unrestricted company credit card, which my manager didn't even know that I had. So if I wanted to steal from the company, I could have been sending myself PayPal invoices and paying them on, on the company. If he was stealing from the company, they would have fucking sued his asshole off. But they didn't, okay? Company's dime. 
So a couple other things that Sagi Sula got wrong for no reason. He says, Mr. B sued me. I have not been sued. I made a complete mockery of their cease and desist. Yeah, it was a cease and desist. For, for those of you that don't know, getting a cease and desist is a threat of a lawsuit. I have gotten multiple cease and desists over my time doing this because for some reason, people do not like the slop. Final warning. He calls BL for- It's not good to blindly believe any whistleblower without full verification. Oh, I completely agree. I've been pretty critical in my reactions too. I, I am not like full throated uh, Mr. Beast hater. Okay, that, that was <laughs> that was funny. Did you see what I did there? How I said something that was just completely incorrect. Uh, but what I mean is uh, the point is that I'm trying to make Obviously, you don't believe everything you say, but slopping around in the mud here and calling out... Dude, Mr. Beast hired pedophiles. Why the fuck are you going after the guy that, that's exposing him? Like, don't you have bigger fish to fry? Quote, not doing enough research and, like, ironically, he himself didn't do enough and, like, paints things in a very manipulative and, like, very kind of strange way. You don't do any research because no! if you had just reached out to any actual Mr. Beast employee, you'd know the head of safety made them get off of the raft for about an hour for their own safety. Be are you joking? So then they lost the challenge. The, the challenge was stay on a raft for seven days. But if they made them leave for their own safety, then they failed the challenge. Because there was a lightning storm. You just proved him right. You literally just proved Dogpack right. Oh my fucking god. Yes, congratulations. Mr. Beast faked his video. What the fuck are you doing? You're batting for the wrong team, bro. Uh, and he says, you know, it's because of a safety concern with lightning. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, they can leave the raft. Why not say it in the video? Or, you know, not lie that they didn't leave the raft for seven days. If Soggy Serial was acting in good faith, let's say hypothetically he's acting in good faith. Right. Why? He complained about me using anonymous Mr. Beast employees as sources. Why didn't he reach out to me and ask me for verification? That no shot, bro. This dude's DMs are open. I've talked to this guy. Bro! Those people are actually Mr. Beast employees. He kind of owned you there, Soggy. Yeah, it's over. It's actually Jover. Dude, Soggy made a video about this, talking about research and reaching out to people, but he didn't actually reach out to any of the people that he covered in his video. That's that's a pretty big L. See, at least be like me. I don't, I don't claim to reach out to people very often, because I very often don't. I just, I just laugh at the public chaos. I don't leak anything ever. But I do laugh at the public chaos. He booty milk, you can't really say anything. I wonder why he didn't put any of that in his video. All right, anyway, I hope that addresses everything. I really done went ahead and assembled the Autism Avengers for Yo! my YouTube video. We got the whole ass goon squad. And yeah, we got a big is. bombshell, Mr. Beast bringing back Club Penguin. Woohoo! And to That's a point, exciting. soggy booty milk ain't wrong. A lot of slop content is trash, but the dangers of slop content is crazy. The slop situation is crazy. Oh. At the end of the day, this is supposed to be entertaining. Just watch slop as your guilty pleasure. Watch any of these people. Yeah, slop is great. Slop is it's great. I love I love slop. I love making slop. I love when people make slop about me. Uh, sometimes it's not the best research, but I, I respect it anyway. Dude, the Nux Taku situation is crazy. Pyrocynical made a slop video about me, uh, and I respect it. I do appreciate the pyrocynical. Bro, he got like a million views on that video. He calls it the Nux Taku situation is crazy. See what I'm saying? It's great. It's an ass eat ass world out there, baby. Whoever's personality or jokes you like, go ahead. And get your blue eyes, white privilege ass out. Oh, shit! I hear a black woman is speaking. Listen. Oh, my God. Listen and learn. Oh, my fucking God. Uh, anyway, that was the uh, the WestJet situation is insane. Uh, I do like WestJet's videos. He is funny. Uh, I'm not gonna... I don't actually go to him for, like, research or anything. I just go for him for, like, the memes. Uh, but I do like his videos in general. Yeah. We're in the thick of it now! Yeah, true, true, true! From the pub to the keys to the car to the tree. You know what I'm saying? It tasted like prime when I gobble on his meat. Yeah, it's, a, it's my favorite song. I like that song. It's a good song. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all of you. Uh, from one slop creator to another, thank you for slopping around. Um, uh, I, I will continue to slop because I enjoy it immensely. Bye. Like, subscribe, and this video was streamed live on kick.com slash See you there. Stay weird, fam.